Jassia says, can you tell me about Ahlul Hadith? Can we follow them? In my country, most people say that they are not good. We should not follow or listen to them. Is that true? First of all, Jassia, Ahlul Hadith is a name, a label. And everyone can claim the label and not necessarily be part of that school. So everybody says we are Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. And so many of those who label themselves as Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah are actually deviant sects who do not relate to Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. So Ahlul Hadith, Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, as Salafiyya, they are all under the same umbrella that follows the Quran, the Sunnah, and the righteous predecessors in their understanding of all of that. Now, to just label yourself that you are from Ahlul uh, uh, Hadith is not sufficient. We have to scrutinize that person, see how his aqidah is, and see whether he is actually part of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, implementing the correct aqidah, following the Quran and the Sunnah with the understanding of the righteous predecessors or not. If he is, then he's from Ahl Hadith, which is a positive thing. So why do many people in my country speak ill about them? Those who speak ill about Salafis or Ahl Hadith or Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah are usually either deviant sects with corrupt aqidah, and this is why they would like to tarnish their reputation so that they do not spread the authentic, valid aqidah of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, or because they are blind followers of their school of thought. So anything that goes out of their school of thought, they consider that to be deviant, even if it's following the Quran and the Sunnah. Because of their blind following, they believe that anything that is out of their school of thought has to go against Islam. And that would be part of going against the Quran and the Sunnah, not knowing that this is the Quran and the Sunnah. So, if you know what you're doing, and if you know who you're following, and which ideology, which, which methodology to be followed, which the Prophet ﷺ and his companions and the Tabi'een and the Tabi'i Tabi'een used to follow, and you follow that, you could care less or more what people say. Who cares? I am following the footsteps of the Prophet ﷺ. Whenever one says to me, why are you doing this? I said, because the Prophet ﷺ said so and so and so. Either they bring me another verse of the Quran or a hadith to contradict this, to counter it, or they would say, yeah, but Imam so-and-so says otherwise. I said, subhanAllah, you follow your Imam, I follow my Imam, Prophet Muhammad So I hope this answers your question.